बच जाइए मानिए सांसद लोरो खोजे खड़ा हो जाइए प्लीज शांत रहिए ऐसा मत करो जी जी बोलिए अरे भैया वहाँ बोल रहा है आप बोलो इन पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ द मोशन ऑफ थैंक्स टू द प्रेसिडेंशियल स्पीच द प्रेसिडेंट हैज अमेस्ट हैज given us a vision for new india a vision for young india i want to say that this is a time when we look at india with a perspective of peace and development madam in the presidential speech the president to a great extent has given us a vision of peace prosperity in the country I belong to the North East India, the state of Manipur, and the state of Manipur has been reeling under ethnic crisis, fighting for identity and land for a long, long time. During the period when UPA ruled, during the time when Congress ruled in the state of Manipur, there was a lot of crisis, a lot of turmoil. But the coming of the NDA the BJP ruled government in the state of Manipur. We have seen peace and prosperity slowly creeping in since the year 2017. The Indo Naga peace talk has been initiated, and the government of India has engaged with the NSC and IM for the past 22 years. And during the last three years, since 2015, the framework agreement has been signed. The people in Manipur, the, the Naga people in the Northeast India, look forward to this government with great hope because there has been, the government has been given a massive mandate and we hope that this government will deliver and bring peace even to our land. There has been times when we talk about unity in diversity. Unity in diversity is required because India is a land filled with multiple ethnics, multiple groups, and there are social instability that is cropping up within our country. But the fact that we need to live together in peace in the midst of diversity is paramount because without loving one another, we cannot look at one another to say that we will accept one another and bring in peace. In the midst of this, Madam, I would also like to pick out a point from the presidential speech. Much has been said about climate change, global warming, and even in the state of, in the country of India, we have heard that 1% growth of uh, the forest has been witnessed. However, in practical, the Northeast India has been faced with deforestation to a great extent. Deforestation has been going on and this has caused a lot of climate change even in our very, very uh, front yards too. Madam, with the introduction of the Ujala, Ujala Yojana by the Prime Minister, I would at this point want to say that environment has become paramount. The introduction of Ujala giving of the gas to the women of our country is paramount because they will not go forward to, to cut down the forest for firewood. And therefore, I would say, particularly in the mountain states of India, there are 11 mountain states in the sub-Himalayan region. I would suggest that as we continue to take on reforestation even in our land, the project of Ujjala Yochna should be enhanced so that the women folks, the kitchens, will not have demand for wood and firewood, and that they will preserve their forests 
so that we once again Mane continue to live Manji bola with goodness and the water crisis will be addressed. Thank you very much.